In this video, we're going to be discussing why diesel engines are so loud. Hey guys, Josh with the Adept Ape channel, and in this video we're going to be discussing a subject that gets asked a lot, and that is, why are diesels so noisy, especially in comparison to most modern gasoline engines in your car, your truck, your SUV? And the answer to that has many reasons and many different scenarios why they are loud. Some of it has nothing to do with the engine itself, and we're going to talk about each, each subject there. Now, before anyone comments, hey, but diesel cars not that loud. Some diesels aren't loud. Most automotive applications, diesels are not very loud at all. They're quite quiet. And most newer diesel engines, even in heavy duty trucks, have quieted down, especially at idle. And we're going to get into that. Okay, so let's get into it. There's obviously some key differences between a diesel engine and a gasoline engine that cause the diesel to be much louder in general. And we're going to go each individual component and explain why that makes it louder or why it doesn't. And the biggest one, of course, if you're unaware, is the compression ratio. A diesel engine usually has a much higher compression ratio than a gasoline engine. And the reason for this is they are compression ignition engines. They don't have a spark plug to help ignite the fuel, so they need a much higher compression ratio or else they just wouldn't work. Now a car usually, or a gasoline engine, is usually going to have around a 10 to 1 compression ratio. Diesels, that's going to be much higher. 15, 16, 17, 18 to 1 compression ratios. Almost double. And of course, with that much increase in pressure, you're going to have a much more violent explosion in the cylinder. And this is going to cause a much louder exhaust. And... The turbo, which is in the exhaust stream, is actually going to help muffle that a little bit. But if you've ever ran a diesel with the exhaust manifold off, it is very loud. It's much louder than a gasoline engine at idle or revved up. And a lot of that has to do with the compression ratio. Now, while we're still in the cylinder, the other thing that makes them have that, especially that diesel sound, that real clattery, clunky sounding idle, where it almost sounds like the engine is not running correctly sometimes. <laughs> especially on older ones, is the way the ignition process is. Of course, on a gasoline engine, you have compression, and then the spark plug fires, and it ignites the air-gas mixture exactly when it's supposed to. On a diesel engine, it's not quite as, I wouldn't say efficient, but it's not quite as precise, especially at idle, where your cylinder temperatures are much lower. So that's why you get that rough sounding idle you're going to get a lot of what they call pre-ignition and detonation when the fuel is sprayed in the cylinder in those high temperatures it's not quite as smooth as a gasoline engine so is it just the cylinders is that the only reason why the diesel is louder of course not there's many other reasons the other one's the valve train almost all diesel engines are going to have now we're talking heavy duty truck applications here a solid roller design now what this is is Instead of most cars, which are going to have a hydraulic lifter design or some sort of non-adjustable valve train where you have gaps between the rocker arms and the valves, in a diesel, there's usually almost a setting or a small gap. And this tends to lead to a little bit more valve noise. Not only that, the components are much heavier and heavier duty due to the increased pressures the camshaft's going to be heavier, the rocker arms are going to be heavier, but not only that, the way the engine is timed up front is much different too. And it's not the timing itself. What it is, is what times the engine. In a diesel, it's almost always a gear-timed and gear-driven engine, which means a set of gears in the front of the engine, or some engines it's in the back, or both, now what these gears are doing is it's timing the crankshaft to the camshaft. It's also running the water pump and the oil pump and various other things. On a car, this is usually done with a timing chain or a timing belt, which generally is a much quieter setup. Now most of these are causing the engine to be quite loud at idle and it revved up RPM stationary. But if you're driving next to one on the freeway, and especially if you are on their passenger side, you might notice that there's a loud whine. 
And what that is, is that's the turbocharger. And anytime that engine's under load, moderate to heavy, it's gonna have a lot of boost. And that boost pressure by itself is not loud, but the turbocharger itself is extremely loud because it's moving a lot of air and it's spinning at tens of thousands of RPMs. It sounds like a jet engine, because basically a turbo and a jet engine function in somewhat of a similar fashion where they're moving air and they're spinning at incredibly high RPMs, up to 100,000 RPM easily. So that is one of the other reasons why diesels are so noisy. If you're next to a diesel and it's summer and they're pulling a hill, they're fully loaded, which means that engine is max fuel delivery and max boost, which means the turbocharger and the fuel system and the cylinders are all under massive amounts of pressure. And that's going to cause that engine to be very, very loud. But one of the other things that's very loud, if that truck's pulling a hill, and especially if it's hot out, is the fan design on most diesel trucks is a mechanical driven fan. And they're producing a lot of horsepower consistently. So they need something that's going to pull a lot of air through that cooling package. So if you're pulling up a hill next to a truck, the most likely reason that that truck's really loud is actually the fan and not necessarily the engine itself. All right, so we've talked about the design of the engine itself. We've talked about the cooling system and the fan causing a lot of volume and a lot of noise. Now, what about the truck if you can hear it going down the freeway and you can tell it's a mile away, especially if it's going down a hill? Well, there's usually two things going on there. One is diesels have what we call a jake brake or a compression brake. And I'll show you a little clip here. Jake brakes. So what those are is it's a hydromechanical electric system that opens the exhaust valves at a particular time to help slow the engine down. So what that's doing is it's causing the engine to slow down the vehicle, opposed to just using your brakes. And whenever you see trucks going down a hill and they're making a da -da 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 sound, that's usually the Jake brakes themselves. Now, if they are particularly loud, or if a truck is just very loud in general out of the exhaust, that's usually due to a modified exhaust system. And Usually on a newer truck, someone's modified the DPF, which is a diesel particulate filter, or they've just removed that and they've removed any mufflers and they run what they call straight piped. The vehicle is going to be extremely loud in that case because no mufflers in the system. So we've pretty much covered all the reasons that diesel engines are so loud or are much louder than most of your gasoline engines. Hope you learned something in the video and thanks for watching.